Good afternoon. Who exactly is Tony Jeffries? Who am I? <clears throat> I am of pensionable age now, <laughs> um, and I am semi-retired, let's put it that way. Okay. I'm still employed by my uh, company. So, Tony, what is the company? And that company is Alan Jeffries BMW. Um, it was, of course, just Alan Jeffries, founded a long time ago. Um, a, the original trade, actually, was started in 1901, would you believe? Right. But that wasn't really as a business, that was a hobby. Was that a grandfather? Uh, that or? was my grandfather, yes. Right. That was Joe Jeffries. So tell me a little bit about Joe and how he set up the company. He was a pioneer motorist. Um, <clears throat> him and a group of mates got by the Dean Bouton. Uh, oh, right. in 1901 and uh, and he swapped it for another model in 1907 I believe and then he had that all through right up to the end of the First World War mm. and he was able to use it during the First World War because he converted it into an ambulance that was a, made a, like a flatbed truck out of it right. and soldiers used to come back by train to the Shipley station and the hospital was next door to where our, our premises were and uh, he could go down and fetch the wounded soldiers and bring them up to the hospital. So this is Joe? This is Joe, right. yeah. And he, uh, <coughs> for that reason, he got fuel, which was a unbelievably difficult commodity, yes, to obtain. Um, and so he could keep motoring all through the First World War. Mm. It's reported that he did best part of 100,000 miles in that car. Yeah. Now, I, I can't really believe that was true, but it was That's a long way. Amount, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long way with solid tyres. Mm. And we considered most of the streets, mm. the main streets were cobbles. Or oh, dirt. It was a pretty rough ride. Mm. Anyway, he was a pioneer motorcyclist. He, he had. Uh, he had um, his foot amputated or his leg amputated just below the knee, so he's got a peg leg. Mm. And uh, that was through a, an accident in a football match. Um, well, playing football, got uh, got injured and ended mm. up with a bit of gangrene like they did in those days. Strange, isn't it? Just an infection. Mm. Yeah, just an infection. Where was Joe based then? We bought a building in uh, in in Saltair, on Saltair Road in Shipley. Mm. Um, which is where, that was in 1917, um, we remained there until 1997. Well, as late as that. Yeah. Mm. When did Alan Jeffries get involved? Alan got involved in the 30s, in the late 20s. He started his first, he started his uh, motorcycling career in uh, riding in the Scott Trial. That was his first ever event. Mm. Um, and of course, the Scott Motorcycle Factory was in Saltaire. Was it? I didn't know Simply, that. Yeah. And uh, of course, a lot of the famous riders of the day, um, but a lot of the old uh, works riders from the 20s and things were um, obviously hanging around, you know, Shipley area mm. uh, in Yorkshire. And, uh, and my dad spent a lot of time down at the Scott Factory mixing with them. And uh, that's how his interest in motorcycles mm. really got going, I suppose. Right. How did Alan's involvement start? We were literally a garage right. where people used to bring their cars at night to keep them because they didn't have cars, houses didn't have garages mm. in those days. Um, and they used to bring the cars at night and we used to literally garage them and charge up the accumulators overnight. So most of the cars were on constant discharge. They didn't, uh, right. they didn't uh, have uh, alternators, right? alternators and charging systems. Yeah. Um, and so that's how it actually operated as a garage. And then obviously we started doing bits of work and bits of jobs on them as well. Um, he then, so then Alan got involved with Scott's. He was very successful as a trials rider. I mean, he was the last person to win the Scott trial on a Scott. Is that right? Where he said, we won the trial, the first person to ever win the trial with the fastest time and least marks lost as well. Incredible. Um, but he set the fastest time five times, actually, in the Scott trial. 
Alan sounded like he was pretty good. How successful do you think he could have been? Oh, it was, I would have said, nine, up to, just up to the Second World War, I would have said he was, if there'd been a world championship for trials riding, I think he'd have won it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, is that that ilk then? <clears throat> yeah, certainly, yeah. I mean, he won every major trial in the country, you know, the Finnish experts, the Scottish six days. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just about everything you think of, you know, yeah. in the top riding. But as in those days, they did all sorts, they did sand racing, they did uh, road racing, all you did was change the tyres, you know, the same nice. bike, you know. Um, they, um, and, and then of course he did ride in the TT as well. Oh, so he, he went and rode uh, in the Isle of Man? He rode in the Clubman's TT, he finished second to uh, Jeff Duke on two occasions. Okay. Um, shame he didn't win one because then would have had father, We'll have three generations yeah. of Jeffers winning, uh, winning, winning TTs, yeah. yeah.